Hey everybody, it's Kayla here, and today I'm going to do part two of why I do not want to have kids. And like I say in my first video, I don't say that I never will have kids because I don't know the future and I don't know if my mind will ever change. All I do know is right now, I just don't think I ever will have kids. I don't have any interest in having kids now or in the future. And also I think it's very rude to say, you know, it's a phase and that you'll grow out of it because it just makes me feel like it's my job or something to have kids, which it's not, and that's just disgusting. Um, so, yeah. My second reason is people's attitudes towards pregnant women. And it seems that more and more, like, pregnant shaming just seems to be it. It's just like, oh, you're pregnant? That sucks. Um, oh, that lady's pregnant? She's going to have a hard time. Um, and there's no, like, thought towards helping someone who is pregnant um, or, you know, making them feel comfortable during their pregnancy. It's more like, oh, that's your thing. That's your responsibility. You know, you have to deal with that on your own. And to be honest, like, that's one of the reasons I don't want to get pregnant because I know if I ever did get pregnant, I'd want to be treated like a queen. I want everyone to cater to me because I'm going through new things. I am experiencing being uncomfortable. I am just going through a hard time I can only imagine during my pregnancy. I want to, you know, be cared for. I want to be, you know, nurtured. I want to be, you know, just catered to. Like, it just makes sense. I am pregnant. I am going through a hard time. I need, you know, someone to make sure that I'm taking care of myself, that I'm being healthy, that I'm being healthy for the child. I am, you know, I need to make sure that all these things are, you know, happening, that I'm, you know, comfortable, that I am okay, that, you know, there's going to be a lot of appointments, there's going to be a lot of, you know, just all these things that I'm going to need support for. And I hear that even, you know, women who have multiple kids, it doesn't necessarily get easier with each kid that you have. So, you know, during pregnancy, whether you've had kids or you haven't, you should be treated like a queen. Like, if I knew anybody around me who was pregnant, I'd want to help as much as possible. I'd want to make sure that they were being taken care of, that they had all that they needed, that maybe they just have like a day or as much as I can give, you know, of my time to make sure that they are relaxed. Um, I don't think they should be, you know, walking around and doing everything for themselves. I think they should be 100% catered to. And I hate this idea that, oh, you're pregnant? Oh, you have to go deal with that on your own. That's your responsibility. Too bad. So sad. You know, you have to go do everything on your own because whatever. I don't know what the reasons are. It's just awful. Um, and so that's just what I think. And um, even after the kid is born, people still have this idea that, you know, it's the parent that, or parents that have to take care of the kid and nobody else is responsible. Now, I personally believe it takes a village to raise a child. Like, this is probably why kids are not excelling at school or, you know, not being, you know, a great um, influence on society. They're rather being a hindrance to society because people believe, oh, only the parents are responsible for the kid. No, I'm sorry. While I do agree that they are, you know, the main responsibility for the kid, they're going to have the most influence on their kid's life, um, it's not just up to them. You know, this kid has been put on the earth. The kid is going to have influence and impact on the earth. Therefore, it's everyone who encounters this kid. It's their responsibility to make sure that kid becomes the best person that that kid can be. So it's not just up to the parents like, oh, your kid, your responsibility, that sucks to be you. If you know someone with a kid, you know, be a positive influence on that kid's life. Help out when you can. It's not easy being a parent. And it's these attitudes that are so, you know, parent negative that I just don't want to have a kid because these people are seriously like so, you know, awful towards parents that it's just, I don't want to have a kid if, you know, people are going to treat me bad just for having a kid, or people are going to treat my kid bad just for being a kid, and 
I don't get it. I really just do not get it. I don't like it. And so that's another reason why I do not want to have a kid. If I have a kid, I want to be taken care of. I want to make sure my kid's taken care of. Simple as that. It really just makes sense to me. So um, that's the reason why I don't want to have kids. So thank you for your time. Let me know what you think. Bye.